What an absolutely gorgeous day. What? How you all doing? Back. Professional opinion from Doctor the Two in around a fortnight is I am still alive. And that is fantastic. Realistically, because I don't want to make a huge deal out of this stuff. Look, I, it isn't a big deal. Like I always say, every single time I go to the doctors, it's not a big deal. It's very rarely a big deal. I think I've only ever had super serious once in the last eight years going to the doctors. But uh, went in examination, bit of a bit of a uh, a chat, bit of banter, a few jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah, over and done with, I've got blood tests and a scan to be done, but nothing nefarious so far that can be, that can be told from just a regular, you know, feel around and all that the kind of stuff. Now, I, I know I said I wouldn't joke about things anymore, but just like, I have to. So I don't take any of this stuff seriously. Best case scenario, what am I supposed to do about it? It's nothing I can do about it. It's out of my control. And worst case scenario, what am I supposed to do about it? Well, again, there's nothing I can really do about it. It's out of my control. So, but it has put families' minds at ease. So, cool. No, so the, the doctor was rad. I'd never, never seen him before. Can't remember his name off the top of my screen. I'm terrible <laughs> with the doctor's names, but two for two, brilliant doctors. Just really fucking, just fantastic. And I mean, uh, the, probably yeah. The jokes might have been a bit kind of like a bit of a, an eye roll. I got dragged in by my mum, you see. But oh, that's put her mind at ease. So you know, the the the. the, the Nearly over. <laughs> Nearly over. Blood test next week, hospital whenever, and get the letter through. And then, uh, yeah. As I say, all in. Good doctor. Took the jokes. Wasn't entirely sure how to take them. Glanced over to my mum. My mum's like, yeah. He jokes all the time. Probably not a jokey matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like my health doesn't bother me, right? I mean, <laughs> it kind of doesn't, like at all. It's more, all right, the, the bit that bothers me is that <sighs> the effect it has on the wife and kids and me, Matt, and like other people, you know? I don't want people to worry. I don't want to be the dude that ruins people's days, you know, but I know that realistically there's nothing I can do about it. That's why I tell all the dodgy jokes, man, because, you know, just look, no one wants to get really sick. No one wants to, you know, end up with a terminal condition or whatever, which I don't have, most likely, right? But, you know... <laughs> There is literally nothing you can do about it. If it went the way we wanted it to all the time, then we wouldn't be having, you know, uh, <coughs> cancer treatments, transplants, that kind of stuff. It just wouldn't happen because it wouldn't be necessary because things would work out as we wanted to. But like, you know, I got kind of, I got kind of scolded for being so kind of blasé, so kind of like, oh, la di da about it. You know, because, like I said, there is literally nothing I can do about it. But, I come home, and I tell the wife, you know, yeah, I'm fine. Dob said I'm fine. And my mum chimes in. She said, you're not fine. I was like, I am. The doctor said I am. He said, you know, there, there was nothing there. There was nothing that he could realistically see that was malicious. Like, right off the bat. But to go in and have 
CTs and blood tests just to be sure. That little bit of extra security, you know, covering his ass. Cover all the bases because, you know, you can't always be 100% sure, right? But to me, that means I'm fine. And uh, so I just, I keep on saying that I'm fine. I'm fine. And the wife says, you're going in for the blood tests. You're going in for the CT scan because until you have those done, you are not fine. I was like, seriously, it's okay. I'm fine. She's like, look, I don't want you to fucking die, you prick. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have the blood tests and I'll have the scans. Everything will come out fine, I'm sure. But you know, just 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 to put people's minds at ease, which I, I guess is was probably the, the mum didn't have to come into the doctors today. She gave me a lift in, and uh, you know, I guess it was beneficial in that it put her mind at ease, and she actually got to hear what the doctor said. And she got to relate to my wife too, I guess, and that's put her mind at ease. And I don't want to upset the kids, and you know, <laughs> it's all good. It is just all, it's all good. There's nothing we can do about it. Just, uh, you know, just give us an all right reaction. <laughs> it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It doesn't bother me at all. But how it affects the kids and the wife. Like, like I said, just, you know, where I'd normally power through and just to see me crashed out on the sofa or just kind of sat there struggling to breathe or whatever. Like, that ain't cool. And I've, I've never... I've never just kind of like... <laughs> I've never just tanked out before. Like, I've tried my hardest just to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. Like I said, I don't want to don't cause anyone any trouble. I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> we were just a joke, actually, that the, one another reason the mum come in is because uh, if she didn't, I'd just run off. I wouldn't. You know, they they want me to get this done. It'll put their mind at ease, so I'll get it done. But, again, that's, they put, they put her mind at ease. Put everyone else's mind at ease, so. Be fine. Chill out. <laughs> right, it is uh, time to relax. I'll try to. <laughs> Not bloody likely. Hello, there you are. I lost ya. You'd think that would be a really difficult thing to do. A stonking great camera about yay big with a big white doobry coming out the bottom of it about yay big, right? But no, I lost it. <laughs> so um, if things seem a little disjointed today, it's because every time I've wanted to say something, I've gotten distracted or lost the camera or any number of things. I have literally been putting things down next to, to myself and fucking losing them. <laughs> It's, I've just been playing with a new toy. <sighs> My mum again, early birthday gift, the keyboard. It's a wireless Logitech Lightspeed keyboard mechanical dealio. It's quite nice, it's comfortable. So I've just hooked everything <laughs> up to the telly and I played some games with the Vine. Which was, it was both you know, really fun and oh my fucking god what happened. I don't remember if we won league. I don't remember, but my gosh, we played a lot of league today in the in my in my chill out phase, and we won Dota, lost Counter Strike somehow. That was a, a bot match of all things, and then uh, somehow won a match of Valorant. <laughs> Although Divine weren't there for the Valorant match, but a lot easier if Divine was there, Captain fucking head clicker, but no. That's uh, all we're good. Uh, I want to get back to the normals tomorrow. I mean, the, I said with the boys back at school. They're not really back at school. Tomorrow's the last day they're back at school. However, I was told today that apparently they're going to grandma's because of rescheduling tomorrow. I didn't think they were supposed to be going to grandma's until next week. But, um, 
Yeah. Um, so so I I did have some bits I was supposed to do today, but I'm, I'm it's rude of me to push them back. I'll uh, I'll give them some proper time tomorrow, and I will probably stream a little bit tomorrow too, which will be nice, relaxing, peaceful. Hopefully, maybe. De-stressing. I'm trying to defuse everyone else, not like, not defuse like temper or anything, just I'm trying to convince everyone that everything's okay. Because I think it's okay. I'm sure everyone thinks it's okay, but I, I get where people are coming from, that uh, physical examination is not enough to guarantee. I mean, but it doesn't hurt as much right now. Oh, still, yeah, still pretty... Uh, yeah, still pretty real. <laughs> but, I mean, I was told, because this is where your thyroid is, learn that the thyroid is there. It's fantastic. And, um, it's there. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I forgot. I was <laughs> something to do with the thing in the neck and the thyroid and the... And the uh, and the what the ever, but it doesn't seem to be anything particularly, you know. So I just I can't remember what it was I was going to say, but that was going to prove my point that everything was it's okay, right? Yeah, let's not pick that up just in case things go wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head off. So, all right, day, all right, day. I wasn't expecting to get super hardcore results today anyway, but this is basically just to put people's minds at ease. Makes me feel like a bit of a hypochondriac. But, you know, it would be nice to, to get the pain in the throat to go away and the pain in the neck to go away, but I'm sure that'll happen eventually. So, I hope you're well. I'll probably remember what it is. As soon as I shut down the bloody camera, I'll remember exactly what it is I want to say. <laughs> but you know. See you all with a bit like the next one.